There's a um, food truck that I got a burrito from, and I got salsa, and it was like tomato juice. And so I was like, okay, how are y'all gonna like use someone's culture and then like appropriate it? Hey everyone, Morgan here. Today I'm at UT Austin's campus, and I am on a mission to find out, is America racist and does white privilege exist? Let's go find out. Are you proud to be an American? Uh, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe I won't just enjoy it. Well, I'm not sure. Well, I'm not sure. I feel like yes, but I feel like there's some changes that can be made. I, I agree with that okay. statement completely. Yes. I'm not American. What are you? I'm Mexican and French. Okay. Yes, yeah, some days. Some days. Why only some days? Uh, because America's been doing a lot of bad stuff, especially lately, but you know, historically. I'm proud to be in somewhat of a free country, but a lot of the government stuff, no, not proud of that. Um, I'm from Puerto Rico, and so I'm, I'm proud to be Puerto Rican. I don't think it's the best right now, but there are also you know, American dreams. Right. So I personally think there's a better country. There's a better country. What country do you think is better than America? <laughs> India. <laughs> are you proud to be American? Absolutely, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Same here, absolutely. Why are you proud to be an American? Well, quite frankly, I think it's good to be an American because of how we were founded. What do you think, my friend? Uh, that was well said. I agree with everything you said. Yeah, it's a great country. Um, it's good America. A lot of opportunity, a lot of great people. Uh, land of the free, home of the brave. We're free. Free? <laughs> That's true. I like the 4th of July. <laughs> but I feel like being Americans is like a nationality, not an ethnicity. Like, I feel like saying I'm proud to be an American, I'm representing all of America. Are you proud of your ethnicity? Yeah, I am. 100%. That I am, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Are you proud to be white? Um, I wouldn't say proud. I was just born this way. Yeah. I think since we live in this country, we uniquely have the opportunity to grow from wherever we come from. And so I think first we should say I'm proud to be an American and then those other things I think will follow. I've been blessed to, to grow up in the home that I did and be able to live uh, in this great country, so yeah. I am proud of my grandparents, like they all immigrated here, so like I'm proud of the life they built here and like what they did with that. I wouldn't say like I am necessarily like, proud or unproud to be white, but I'm proud of yeah. my family and how they built themselves here. Do you guys believe that white privilege exists in America? Yes. 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 Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Yes, I do. Oh, yes, by far and large. America, by and large, is majority white, and that's okay, right? Like, it's not saying that that's inherently a bad thing, but acknowledging that, yes, white people have had privilege throughout, you know, their history, um, historically speaking, there is economic and generational wealth that black people have does not have access to, so it makes sense that, yes, white privilege exists here in America. I don't think so. There's so many success stories of non-white people in this country who have rose to the top, whether that's politically, through acting, through athletics, there's so many different avenues that, I don't know, I don't think that question is very helpful. Yeah, I don't think that there is anybody of any race, any color has had equal opportunity and done great things for this country. Yes, in some sense, but that's not exclusive to other races as well. How would you define white privilege being here? It's definitely like a different way of growing up and like perceiving the world. So I feel like being white, like in a majority like white country is definitely like a privilege that you have. I feel like the systems that we have in place for the like fundamentally run this country, um, justice system, educational system, the uh, police system, um, all of them really um, favor white people. They have opportunities to things that a lot of like women of color, men of color don't have. Yeah, I would just say disproportionate opportunities for minorities as opposed to white people. White people's opinions are just like respected more. If I were to say something in my class, but another like white person were to say the same thing, they'd listen to them and not really me. Usually being more advantaged in terms economically, um, they get a lot more opportunities, there's a lot less prejudices against them. Do you guys think that America as a whole is racist? Maybe not as a whole, but just like a few certain people who have been brought up in that culture, I want to say. Yeah, I wouldn't want to generalize anything, but like people hold opinions, some people hold extremist opinions, but others are like, you know, they're pretty fair. I wouldn't say as a whole, but the system is definitely not fair to all people. We've had an influx of immigration of people, influx of diversity that we've not started with. And 
people's mindsets have changed. Obviously, we don't, we're not, our country isn't run by the same thought processes, but unfortunately, the foundation, the, the rudimentary, like, basis of our country has not changed. Do you think that America is racist? Yes. Yes, I would say so. The fact that we don't acknowledge that there are so many inequalities for people of color. It's always had a racist background and then the fact that we're now trying to hide that history just continues like there is racism still. Historically, yes. Yeah. The more I learn about things in our culture as America, it's just all a lot of it is based in racism. No, I think that's one of the most vile pieces of rhetoric that exist in um, our modern political dialogue. The fact that we started in 1776 and were able to pretty much get rid of slavery in less than 200 years, when you look at other countries like Britain, um, different even African countries, different countries in the Middle East who had slavery for thousands of years, um, I think the U.S. is unique in that. Yes, we do live in a broken, fallen world, so there will be racism and things that are wrong. We've come a long way from how it was in the past. And so I say yes, there is, but like no at the same time, it's it's a lot better. I think that question is just kind of an overgeneralization. America in general, like I think it's not. I think it's made up of people who can maybe have like racist tendencies. I'm going to say this. It's important to frame it to where we're American first. If you say you're an American first, that gives you certain unalienable rights from God. Um, it gives you the right to um, live your life with the pursuit of happiness. Um, and all these things are enshrined in our Constitution. So if you say you're an American first and if you try to not get mixed up into what the media says and kind of divide you and, and try to divide and conquer different people. I think that is really an important piece of framework. I love it. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this video and finding out that apparently white privilege does exist on UT Austin's campus. If you guys want to see more content like this, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what university should I go to next, and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.